Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone. And how are you all doing today? And as you can see, we got bad news for everybody to use. Tia and Corey, they called it quits, okay? Now, we got several things to talk about because it's only a few things that can hit home to make a person want to get a divorce, okay? But, you know, of course, you know, I want to give my opinion. And then I'm going to read, you know, an article that was written from a you know, particular news source. And then we're going to let you weigh in, family. We're going to let that come on in the house. This is a bad one, okay? Giselle and Tom Brady, that's just effed up. You know what I'm saying? I believe he just broke the cardinal rule. Let's lie to her. Saying he going to retire and then he jump his little behind back up in there. And making it do what it do. And she's sitting up there looking at him like a damn fool. But, okay, we talked about that. Hopefully y'all enjoy that video. Got some insight. And, and get that, got down in them comments to have a, a continued conversation, you know, about the situation. All right, but now we got... Damn, I'm like, now I'm telling you, I really thought they were a solid couple that could weather any type of storm that hit they behinds, okay? But any person I saw that would get a divorce would be her sister Tamara. Because I don't know, her fun, her husband kind of funny acting, you know what I'm saying? Not funny as in gay, but funny as in he's particular, you know what I'm saying? Like he don't want you to mess up an area that he just cleaned up or... I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know, y'all, I don't know. But anyway, we ain't talking about Tamara, we talking about Tia. And the comings and goings on what she had to say on her Instagram account, then he gonna get on his Instagram account and don't really be telling people shit. You know what I'm saying? They think you wanna talk in cryptic code. You know, I'm like, man, we ain't trying to send out no SOS. We ain't trying to uh, figure out something you done learned from the government to learn how to send, uh, we call it, sounds of stress or, what is it, sounds? It's SOS. Y'all know I'm going with it. But I was like, uh-uh, we just need you to come out and say what happened and be done with it. If you can't live with it, you done prayed about it, you done did all you can do together, yeah, it's best for you to separate. But then, you know, I always thought about, because it actually happened to me, um, is it like a generational curse in a sense where you see your mother and dad get a divorce and they parents got a divorce before them, then you get a divorce after being so many years with your partner for whatever reason. Is it something to that, y'all? I'm just asking. I'm asking because I'm a divor divorcee too. Okay, but I, I tell you, these are the ones that I would say that can end a marriage quick, fast, mm -hmm. and in a hurry. That's jealousy. Yeah, I think he was jealous of her notoriety and her being able to do different things and make money. You think he was like the little person? Everybody just saw Tia as the outgoing person. One go get the money. This, that, and the third. Because when he met Tia, Tia already had money. Because, you know, they were working way back uh, when, when they were little. Okay, when they was in uh, probably elementary or middle school, and I read somewhere where she he said how they had met was her and her sister, me and Tia and Tamara were driving down some street, and they saw him at a bus stop, and they picked his behind up because they felt he needed a ride. I was like, if y'all see that was wrong already you don't go pick up no damn stranger you don't know if that's a, a killer on the loose you don't know if he's a stalker you don't know what he was y'all just took him for face value and just went with it picking up everybody from the bus stop god no. i said that's crazy that's crazy but maybe you know the lord had put on a horse to pick him up you know maybe he wasn't feeling so well and he needed to get home quick or whatnot but he even said that he pretty much 
didn't have nothing, and his wife had everything. So that's one one, one plausible way of thinking that may have ended their relationship. And another one was like putting work over family. Now, who y'all thought may have done that? Do you think Tia was the one that was spending more time out in the streets making money like candy birds than being at home with the kids and he felt some kind of way he didn't want to be no uh, daddy daycare? That's another one. Okay, y'all ponder that one. Then we got, uh, you think any one of them gave a sexually transmitted disease that would have brought in the cheating factor? Do y'all think that was it? Because they, they seem to be like too clean cut. You know what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't be messing with nobody and would not protect themselves. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Okay, do you think he got somebody pregnant? Because uh, Tia ain't looking like she pregnant. That she could have been the one tipping out. And you remember um, Tia used to play on the picture called The Game, a sitcom. And how the guy she was... um was going to marry, she was going to try to still be a doctor, and he was playing football, professional football, and he ended up cheating. I think that was with Drew Sador, I think. Um, did you think anything happened like that, y'all? That um, he don't got somebody pregnant and got him knocked up. Okay, and I think Tia is in this Kabbalah-type religion, and I think he is, too. I'm not really sure, because I know they wear that red little piece of string around the uh, hand. I think it has something to do with the Kabbalah uh, religion. But you think it could have uh, fell out because of their, re their religion or they didn't want to be in that religion no more? One of them wanted to stay, the other wanted to go and that made them unevenly yoked, you know what I'm saying, to bring in other myths as uh, far as, you know, to, you know, when you become in a religion, you try to be one on one accord with that religion and everybody believe in the same thing. So you think it was plausible that one of them felt like they didn't want to be in that relationship no more or that religion and it caused havoc amongst their relationship? Okay, that's another one now. Then a simple plain fact, they could have just outgrew each other. Uh, they probably saw it coming, was trying to ward it off, you know what I'm saying? But it just keep pressing and pressing and pressing until it just take over the relationship. And then when you look back at it, you'd be like, well, I grew going this way, you grew doing that way or you never grew you just stayed you know complacent you just stayed like dead weight you want to do nothing you want to push yourself a little further to get a, you know a little head start on some other type of career uh that's the, that's their mom right there on that picture y'all didn't know and then i'm like okay it's one of them going through a mid-life crisis you know what i'm saying somebody want to buy an automobile and just let the wind be in their hair well what little hair they had left <laughs> You know, when you get 50 shits, things start to shed. And um, we knew Tia was in, embracing her grayness. Uh, I guess she was wearing wigs or weave just to be in the limelight of when she had to do some acting jobs or commercials or whatever she was doing. And then when she wasn't um, working, she would just wear her hair. It was a pretty shade of um, black and gray. But she was letting it grow out that way. She wasn't changing it or anything. I thought that was nice. That was nice. Um, even though you may be getting older, you don't necessarily have to look like you're older or feel like you're older. Just because your hair is, you know, turned a different color uh, to the grayish side. So maybe they might be going through a middle life crisis, which I think. One or both of them, you know. And then I said, you know, one of them could have cheated. It could, she could have cheated. He could have cheated. Before they knew it, everybody was cheating around them. To where it got back to one of them, and then it was like a no-go. Because that is a, uh, one good way to ruin a relationship and place doubt in the non-offending par party. Like, say he cheated on her, and she's just been faithful to him forever and a day. Never thought about it, never wanted to. Well, ain't gonna lie. She probably thought about it. She saw somebody fine. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no harm in looking just on your lust, okay? And don't reach out and touch them. You know what I'm saying? But um, it could have been a situation like that. Or maybe they cheated uh, self-consciously. Uh, you know, unconsciously they were cheating. Or they were having um, a mind cheating thing where it wasn't physical, but it was emotional. 
and that can tear up a relationship as well because you're supposed to be giving all your feelings and all your uh disgruntlements to your uh spouse you don't supposed to go outside the marriage and be telling everybody y'all business and being comforted by them you know not not sexually now but just being there listening you know you might share a little hug a little kiss there but that's all it went and that's all it had to go because once you got too friendly with them on an emotional state, you had already crossed the path of none coming back. Can't come back from that. Okay? And then uh, the uh, other one could have been is, is uh, Corey Gay. Has he been experiencing, you know, a uh, relationship with a man or some sort? Or is uh, Tia Gay, you know, has she been stepping out with the same sex? That's another one. I see a religion. And then the other one, the last one, was like, did somebody mess with somebody's money? <laughs> did somebody go messing with somebody's money in an account they had no business messing with? You know what I'm saying? Oh, so I gave y'all pretty much what I thought it could have been uh, for the separation, for the uh, appealing of being divorced and seeing it on paper. And making the moves to make making that become a reality for both of them. But let's get into what People Magazine had wrote out. What they figured, what they had uh, drawn as a conclusion. And some of the facts that they had to put a story together in an article, as you see. Okay, um, let's see. I get it from People Magazine. That's my source. I am uh, using for all the entertainment and TV, uh, what do you call it? Accolade of a sense that a story got put out uh, with that magazine. Okay, we got Stephanie Winger. She was the person that was responsible for writing this up. Uh, she titled it Tia Mari Files for a Divorce from Husband of 14 Years, Corey Hardick, Not Without Sadness. Okay, Tia Mari and Corey Hardick were married in 2008 and share son Cree, 11, and daughter Cairo, 4. Okay, Tia Mari and husband Corey Hardock are calling it quits after 14 years of marriage. On Tuesday, the sister sister alum 44 announced the couple split in a heartfelt Instagram post. I have always been honest with my fans, and today is no different. I wanted to share that Corey and I have decided to go our separate ways. She wrote alongside a black and white photo of the couple. These decisions are never easy. And not without sadness. We will maintain a friendship as we co-parent our beautiful children. And don't that sound like a PR statement? i like, girl, T, if you don't sit your ass down. Now, what was the real T, girl? Tell us the real T. Did you go out tipping? Did you go out tipping, girl? Was you creeping like Luther say, creep, creep? Creep, 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 creep. What you doing to Luther creep, girl? Or was Corey, what was you doing? Did you prank? Did you knock up somebody, boy? Did you knock up somebody? You didn't lose no protection. You could have gave some sexual transmitted disease to Tia over there. You didn't wrap up, boy. Okay. That's the thing I would have been saying if I was talking to either one of them. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, the television personality continued. I am grateful for all the happy times we've had together and want to thank my friends, family, and fans for your love and support as we start this new chapter moving forward in our lives. Do you think Tia got an epiphany that she needed to have more or less communication with her husband, girl? Yeah, what y'all think? That's just not right. She they putting us all in uh, a tizzy trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I know one thing and one thing for sure. If you cheat, you fuck with my money, you fuck with my family members, it's a no-go for me. Now, I don't know how that, how Tia represented it on which way it would go where she was giving up her man because he did something, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, you go hard to the, the, somebody's been creeping. You see what I'm saying? Or somebody been, you know, using their sexuality for the same sex. So, it ain't about money. It ain't about cheating. Infidelity, infidelity, and it ain't got nothing to do with religion. I don't know what the hell it could be. You know what I'm saying? If y'all just don't grew apart, period, where well, y'all just can't stand each other. You know, you get in a room with them, they get in a room with you, and they ask them what you going to do, what you want to eat, and you, you, both of y'all saying nothing, I don't care, I'll get something later. Or, damn, when you going to go leave the house? I'm tired of looking at your ass. You know what I'm saying? Was a conversation like that being had? 
Yeah. Anyway, we go into Tia Mari. Um, I mean, did I just read that? Yeah, I just read that. So it's just something that appeared on her Instagram account that uh, she had put on there as a forewarning or for reference what was happening in her life. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, tell you, girl, we love you, but we don't love you that much. You ain't got to put no whole big paragraph on your uh, Instagram account or any social media account. You know, saying, you you know, you glad we rocking with you. Hey, we're going to rock with you whether you married or not married. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be what it is. But anyway. It says, Mari also filed for divorce from her husband in Los Angeles on Tuesday, according to documents obtained by People Magazine. In the filing, which was first reported by TMZ, the actress cited irreconcilable differences. Ir- yeah, irre- well, y'all got it. Irrelevant cycle. Well, here, y'all know I'm getting tongue twisted over here. Uh, differences as the reason for their split. While a date of separation was not specified, she is requesting joint physical and legal custody of their children. 11-year-old son, Cree, and 4-year-old daughter, Cairo. Now, I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see nothing wrong at all. So, they must not be mad about that situation. So, it might have, they just probably got tired of each other. You know, and they didn't have the tools to know how to go regroup. You know what I'm saying? He sleep in one bedroom, you sleep in the other. Y'all just coexist until y'all can figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? And no sense of breaking up a family if it had nothing to do with infidelity. Now, if it had anything to do with infidelity and sexual transmitted disease, forget that irreconcilable irre- silent differences. We would have been fighting up in there. Okay? We, we wouldn't have been reconciling nothing. And it wouldn't have been no irreconcilable differences. It's been an ass whooping every which way I can get you on. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, leaving that. Uh, going back to the, going back to the article, it said, uh, the couple who tied the knot in 2008 have a prenuptial agreement and Maori is asking the judge to terminate spousal support according to the documents. Now, see, yeah, yeah, now, if you were to put in the contract to begin with, then no, I don't get spousal support, and you won't get spousal report if this shit goes south. You know, that's what my whole four men I told about in um, Giselle and Tom Brady. When we got saying we want to get married, he put the ring on the finger or whatever, and you may have bought him a ring to, to be showing that he's taken, he's off the market. We would have been sitting there, somebody's estate plan and trying to say, okay, this is what I got. I don't know how you're going to like me later on down the road. I might get fat. You might think I'm ugly. You'd be disgusted with me. But, hey. It's a time, you know, to lose weight. It takes time. You got to be mentally ready for that. But this is all you're going to get from the situation. Or you can still be fine as hell, fine as wine, aging fine as wine. But we just don't like each other no more. We, we, you give them what we said from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Anything else, you know, we acquire, we're going to break it down again. We're going to have to go renew our uh, prenup to include this too so if we don't like each other we can't stand each other we got to get away from each other yeah you already know what you're gonna get you don't need no judge you don't need nothing just say look judge this is what we decided in our prenup agreement and we still feel the same way handle it judge grant us our divorce and we're gonna go our separate ways because you know i got a date that i'm gonna be late for we don't get this, this shit on the road you know what i'm saying that's how Corey probably said or how uh Tia probably said it, depending on who was trying to get out the marriage first and why. That's just my scenario. You know, I get that way sometimes. I know y'all can't control me. I can't even control myself sometimes. All right, I go too far. I know I do. I, y'all have to pull me back. Y'all have to pull me back. But um, leaving that information, uh, yeah, I think that was it. No, it says prior to the news of their split, Maori shared two cryptic Instagram post about love and social media and a tweet hours before their split was p- p- made public on Tuesday she wrote I am love I will only choose to see love I hope you will too on Sunday Maori shared another tweet about needing to be understood reminder you are enough you deserve love and you deserve to be understood for who you are truly or who you truly are she shared I don't know what the hell she's talking about. She's trying to be poetic and all this shit and just don't tell her what happened. You know what I'm saying? So we can either be in her corner, meaning Corey cheated, did some foul, 
or she don't did something then we got to go jump on Corey's side but we're gonna you know we're gonna give her our branch you know what i'm saying because sometimes you, you, you just i don't know the devil be present you just start looking at somebody because you ain't getting something at home and you desire that still and you start looking at the person that's giving you the time and attention and uh, you know possibly thinking that they're listening to you okay when it's uh, probably the opposite thing they just want to get in your drawers or want to get in your pants this is either way it's either way you know okay but uh going from there it says um mari and hardick opened up about making their marriage work doing an appearance on people the tv show in february 21 so see what's what making their marriage work. See, they it seems like you know, cryptic message in that sentence too. Like they already had something going on. But, you know, prayer supplication and getting a counselor, uh, a religious counselor, and then go do a professional counselor. Did we uh try those avenues before we said fuck it? We finna go to the courthouse and get this shit annulled or get this well, you can't get it annulled because y'all been married fourteen years. But, uh, you know, just seek a divorce. Ir irrecyclable. Di well, hell, I can't even pronounce the thing. What is it? Ir re Shit, y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's just move on. Uh, I said a lot of people, they ask Corey and I, like, what makes your marriage, you know, a great marriage? Maury said, and if I'm being really honest with you, and we've been doing this for years, we don't focus on specific gender roles uh meaning the woman should just do what women meaning the woman should just do one thing and then the man sh should just do one thing to actually explain it's a team effort at our house okay okay who were leaving their drawers in the floor who who was or uh, not washing the dishes who was putting shit back or leaving stuff on the table who were doing that was you deal were you running out and and trying to make that money you forgot to uh, clean up after yourself or uh, was it Corey doing stuff like that? Tell us, honey. Tell us. Because you know we know it's his hell. And you just can't put shit out there. Talking about some irrecyclable differences. No, uh-uh. We need a little bit more than that. You're trying to throw us a salad with some croutons on it. But, hell, we need the meat. We need the meat, bread, and vegetables, baby. We need the meat, bread, and vegetables. Feed us till we want no more. That's what we're asking for you, girl. But you ain't trying to give it to us. So I guess it'll come out. You know, like, like I say, everything done in the dog will come back to life. But then... It may be a happy ending at the end of their irrecy ir ir y'all know what I'm going with it here. Uh differences. Irrecyclable differences. Maybe that can um be a situation where they can come back after they've had time alone physically and uh they might see things a little bit clearer after a couple of months of being away from each other. Um I don't know. I don't know, but fam, it's time for y'all to get down in those comments and serve me up some plausible reasons and of why it went south for them. Because I told you, I always knew in my mind, you know, I thought Tamara would be the one to get a divorce uh, first. If any, each, well, either couple, it would have gone with, I felt that uh, Tamara and her husband would have been getting divorced prior to, or, you know, not even thinking Corey and um, Tia uh, had something going on that was puzzling, that was not making them being harmonious. Hermon, wait a minute, how do you call it? Harmonious. Her. Hell, y'all know where I'm going. Harmony is what I'm trying to say. Well, I'm trying to put the uh, harmonious, the I O U S on it, and I can't pronounce it, okay? But anyway, it's neither here nor there. That's the piece of resistance we were getting to. We're still being alluded to what could have possibly happened. I gave you several, several scenarios. Uh, what could have happened, should have happened, did happen. But we can't confirm or deny at the time. Because they both talking encrypted messages. But anyway, that's all I got. I ain't got no more for this particular story. Get down in the comment. Uh, you know, let me know what y'all thought about it. And uh, if you don't mind, um, what do you call it? Subscribe to the channel share the videos and like the videos okay and i will see y'all next time bye bye